Lynch, and I'm Senior Manager for Digital yeah. Services in Surrey Library Service. Okay. What's going on here then today, Helen? Well, we've been thinking for a long time that we want some kind of film studio because that's increasingly the way that people learn by making films and by sharing them with other people and by watching them. Uh, and as part of the Guildford Makerspace concept, uh, which is taking place here at Guildford Library, we wanted to offer these kind of facilities both to children predominantly, but also to have some kind of equipment that could be offered to adults as well. So we bought these Padcasters, and the Padcaster is based on the iPad, and you can use them for filming. Okay, so. What, what will people get out of it? Who's this kind of aimed at? Uh, predominantly we have been running children's things like code clubs and I am the code clubs and children's uh, kind of science and technology activities at the library and at the end of the project, at the end of the clubs, the children produce their own projects and that's kind of it but if they were able to film the projects and what they've created, then we could upload it to the library's website, to the library's YouTube account, and uh, other people could see it and it would be there as a kind of record of what the children have been doing. But we're also conscious of the fact that there's a huge number of small startups now in Guildford and everywhere, tiny little companies operating out of people's spare bedrooms. And these are people who want to find ways of promoting what they're doing, either through setting up websites or by creating a little film, which is a thousand words, about what their product is or what their service is and what they're doing. For a library, it's very noisy, isn't it? Uh, there's some making doors. <laughs> right, okay, I may ask a few of those questions again. Sure. Um, I, I, I'm thinking that this is young people want to be YouTube stars and you can kind of help them get there if that's what they and their parents want them to do. Yeah. But we're talking about a safe and secure kind of situation, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, that's right. Libraries have always been safe and secure environments for people to come and meet or to do activities together and also we uh, we actually make this a safe space for children to come in and uh, be able to experiment with new technologies and experiment with creating things like film or doing coding projects, uh, safe in the knowledge that it will only be used within the library environment and that safeguarding issues will be met. What kind of equipment have you invested in? Um, well, we've got a whole range of stuff as part of the Guildford Makerspace, so we bought a maker cart which includes things like robots, electronics, um, uh, little kind of computers, uh, little bits electronics, so that uh, all the new kind of digital technologies, including things like three D printers and digital paper cutters. And what kind of things have you got here? So Talk here, us through. okay, here we have uh, the Padcaster Ultimate Studio, and it consists. It's actually really easy to use. It's really basic and simple when you look at it, but it's based on an iPad at the back here, just an ordinary everyday iPad and then it comes with the tripod which makes it really sturdy and stable. Uh, it comes with three microphones, so you've got this kind of boom one here, you've got this handheld one here and then there's a lapel mic that you can use for interviews as well. It comes with basic lights on the top here and then we've added things like uh, this head set of headphones so that the person who's recording can actually act as a sound engineer as well and uh, it comes with these green screens at the back as well but uh, increasingly these days you can get an app to go on your iPad that adds any kind of background you want onto your, the video that you're creating. And tell me again about who this is for. So this is intended for really two groups of people to start with. The first is the children, so largely the children who come to our digital clubs. So we run code clubs, we run I am the code clubs and we run various kind of one-off events like robotics. And we want the children to be able to, at the end of the session where they've created a project, they might have created a robot or a little piece of code that does something, we want them to be able to record that, put it onto a video and then upload it to the library YouTube account so it's a safe place where they don't have to be identified but they can show all their friends that they've done it. And the second group? The second group uh, is uh, the huge number of starters, so tiny little businesses uh, largely operating out of spare bedrooms or other people's garages um, who are creating a project or a service, they don't have a lot of money but they need to get the message out about what they're doing so they want to be able to film their product or their service and to get the message out that way and uh, we'd like to be able to make this uh, equipment available to them to come and do that here. Why is this the, um, the, the job of the library? 
Um, this is the job of a library because it's all part of the STEM revolution, the science, technology, engineering and maths, which is increasingly seen as the way that people are going to be employed, uh, that uh, children are going to move into, that artificial intelligence is going to be the next big thing. So it's a, a really easy, friendly, safe, low-key way of developing people's especially children's passions and enthusiasm. And although schools are doing it, this offers an opportunity for children to take what they've learnt at school and actually, you know, grow their enthusiasm. And also there's a huge number of homeschooled children uh, and other children around who just don't have those opportunities and we offer them here.